And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. March 11th, 1845, the day the apple lost its most eccentric advocate. For that was the day, some say, that Johnny Appleseed died at the age of 70. Born in Lemonster, Massachusetts in 1774, John Chapman grew up in the town of Longmeadow before traveling westward to Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Indiana, planting apple seeds and cultivating nurseries in what was then the Northwest frontier. In this season, in this country that he knew as wilderness, the apple trees are thickly planted and every tree thick with fruit. Our old friend Charles Curon once followed Johnny Appleseed's trail and sat down with Robert Price, author of Johnny Appleseed, Man and Myth. It just occurred to me that he looked a great deal like some of the hippies that I see at the present time. But don't let those ragamuffin looks deceive. Apples provided a big part of frontier sustenance. Everything from applesauce to apple butter to hard cider. And Johnny Appleseed's motivation was not entirely philanthropic. Uh, we're told that he did give away uh, his trees on occasion, but his business was to sell them. Though many facts about Johnny Appleseed remain uncertain, there's no disputing his place in American folklore. He's celebrated every fall in his hometown of Lemonster and other apple producing spots. There's a museum in his honor in Urbana, Ohio. Even a poem by Mary Legler that Charles Kuralt recited in part. Russet, Ben Davis, Grimes, Yellow Gold, Rambo and Baldwin to store in the cold. Apples are gathered in orchards today. For Johnny Appleseed came this way.